Today, we're going to be talking about Ninja demanding a double standard for, quote, millionaire influencers after one of his own got banned from Fortnite for using an aimbot. It is time for our video game news. In this segment, we share the best headlines from the week in the gaming industry. There's a Fortnite YouTuber who goes by the name of FaZe Jarvis. He or he works, he's on the clan phase, but he plays as Jarvis and he's a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. He got banned for cheating. He used an aimbot in a casuals only game of Fortnite and got caught and got banned for life on Fortnite. So as a result, surprise, (laughs) surprise. Yes, he got banned. Yes. Um, Ninja comes out and defends him. I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, I mean, he's still super young. So like, it's such, I think it's just a stupid kid making a stupid decision. Didn't really fully think about it. It wasn't in a tournament. It wasn't a cash cup. Wasn't in a, anything like that. I think that it should be like a six, maybe maybe like a six month ban from like competitive and like. May, I don't know, man. Permanent though. He doesn't think he should get a lifetime ban because you know even though it is against the terms of service, he said that he should get in trouble and he should be held accountable, but it shouldn't be lifetime. So, that's that's the gist of what's happening here, so, Austin. What are your first thoughts? Almost on this? like uh, you know special treatment. <clears throat> He he makes a lot of money. <laughs> he makes like a hundred thousand a month or something like that. Something ridiculous. So understands his livelihood. Should he be treated any differently? Maybe. I mean, at the very least, give him like six months to a year or something. Ban. You know, he said he was doing it to make a funny video and like troll people. He is seventeen years old, so obviously he's not the smartest kid in the book because he's only seventeen. He's not matured. So maybe under those know, grounds, you know, are thirty that have any maturity. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's true. That's <clears throat> true. Pay people these days. Yeah, I know, right? I don't know. It's just it's a tough cookie to crack. It's just kind of how they want to go about it. Um, he yeah yeah he's cheating. Technically, he should get banned, right? They, they might have to rework. They should be fair to everybody, right? And you know, maybe this is just a hard lesson this kid needs to learn. I mean, if that, what it, that that's what it takes, and that's what it takes. I don't know how he goes about, like, oh, I'm going to make a funny video by cheating. Like, yeah, that's funny, but... <laughs> yeah. I mean, he could have tailored it in a way <laughs> where it's like, oh, look, I'm using an aimbot, ha, ha, ha. And then it's like, oh, wait, I w- really wasn't using an aimbot. This is just like a, what do you call it, a, um, a super cut of, like, all the headshots I got or whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. That's true. So... Yeah, it's it's a weird situation. Like uh, a lot of people are saying that it's <clears throat> it's a double standard kind of thing where Ninja thinks that content creators should get special treatment, and that's what a lot of people are wording it as. Like I think the video that right. you sent me, Austin, was uh, put out by the quarter and it said Ninja demands double standard for millionaire influencers Jarvis lifetime ban. That was the headline of this video. I don't know. Like I I see where. I see where Ninja's coming from because now his the way that he put it out, I didn't watch his reaction to it necessarily. I'm just talking based on like the articles that I'm reading and like what people are pulling in, in, information from. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But as, generally speaking, like I don't think he should be banned for life because again, he's like Ninja had mentioned, he's, he's young, 17 years old. He's a stupid kid making stupid choices. But he also does this as a job, and he does make money for it. And if we want him to be able to do this as a job, it this could hurt his career to do this. Which I mean, in comparatively speaking, sports like you injure yourself, you get kicked out. And if you cheat, you get you get a suspension for a season, which could yeah. kill your career. So the har- the punishment is just as harsh in professional sports. I would say, but it's different because you're working with an age group here that is not yet fully matured, and he's using this in a casual match. I think it's bullshit. He shouldn't have been doing it, and he does need punish because if I'm playing in that map, I'm going to be like, this freaking guy's cheating. He's hacking. I don't want him in here. I want to ban him. But I don't think a lifetime ban is the necessary punishment. I could see a year ban. Right. I think that'd be pretty damn harsh. I mean, because that could really change up your whole thing. You have to think about what you're doing at that point. But at least you're not out of the game completely. So, I don't know, playing devil's advocate, it's kind of like, you know, you're creating a career that's based on 
other companies' products, and it's a obviously a new kind of career in the 21st century that still hasn't come together completely. And I guess from an outsider looking in, it's always like, well, suck it up. Go get yourself an actual job, you know. Go get a job that's going to stick around for a while, you know. Don't get a oh, job. Oh, man, you did not just go there. <laughs> get a job. You're that, old, Austin. You're hey, officially man, old. Just think about it. Like, go get a job that's not dependent on someone else's rule. Well, I say that lightly. On someone else's, the way that they handle certain situations, it's going to be more standardized and stuff like that. Now, obviously, younger people are probably like, well, that's stupid. I completely understand. Like having a job as a content creator is awesome. And if you're able to make it a job, you get your own hours, you can do your own things, you do what you love, you get to play, you know, cool games and meet cool people. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's still so new. It's just, I understand how people are just like, well, screw it. It's just a ban. Like that's what he gets for it, you know? Yeah. That's what he gets for cheating. And to some degree, yeah, that does what he gets. That is what he gets for cheating. Like, why do you think that was a good idea? Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, and I think I've, some people have said that they understand and agree that, you know, he's promoting cheating and that could really sour the pool with that game. You know, if he's yeah. promoting it, even though he doesn't mean to promote it as like, hey, er- everyone go out and get an aimbot. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It all comes down to the fact that he's still a 17-year-old stupid kid. Like, not that the kid's stupid, but... He's 17 years old. He's not going to be the smartest kid in the world. And this, the shitty part is that we haven't figured out how best to handle people of this age who are in these positions. I mean, like, from a different industry completely, Billie Eilish is one of the biggest singers right now. She's also 17. She is on a platform where she has to present herself in a certain way. But with that, she's got people around her that help her make sure that she doesn't make fuck up, basically. You know what I mean? Right. Whereas as content creators, they largely work for themselves, and they don't have... Like, there's no agents yet that exist in a large spam. I mean, there probably is agents out there, but there's not a lot of agents that exist out there that are for these types of people yet. Right. So they're not able to pick up somebody like this and help train them to do the right things and make the right moves and not do stupid shit like this. Because that's ultimately what these agents do, is they keep their people out of getting in trouble so they can keep making them more money and this kid doesn't have that and i think you know i i don't think the band should have been as serious but it's also i mean this is a career these are this is a future career and the thing with these with a content creator being a future career i don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon but just like with any tech industry job uh you have to learn to adapt So getting banned from Fortnite is a fail. It's a loss, but that's an opportunity to pick up, figure out what you can do next and grow from that experience and do better the next time. And that is how people become successful is they fail a lot to figure out what is the right path. I mean, you learn by doing. And in this case, he learned by failing. And now he's hopefully, I mean, I think the ban is necessary Year long, yearly, or you know, eternal ban. I don't know, but yeah, it does seem a little harsh. The more I talk about it, though, I'm like, well, maybe it is okay because now he's. I mean, this is a message now to everybody: don't fucking cheat. Like, yeah, yeah. Don't do this shit, or else you're going to get a freaking perma ban and you're out. And then, I mean, everyone you know, knows that. Everybody knows that. I feel like yeah. you just don't cheat, or you're going to get banned. Yeah, and it's not too. I mean, you would think, yeah, there might be a ban for life, which. They can dole that out easily. I don't know. Man, so my initial stance on this was that <laughs> I I agree with Ninja and think that they should get special treatment, but now I'm thinking, no. They're fuck just it. People. Yeah. Just like they he he knew when he went into this that he put shouldn't be cheating. Maybe he was doing a funny video, whatever, but no, like that's not funny. Yeah. Especially when you're a professional player. I think that's a caveat here. I think if he was just like a YouTuber that just put out videos, like that's another thing. But he competes professionally. So if he's doing it here, what's to say he's not going to do it there? I think that this is fair. Now this guy can learn. How can I do better next time? I mean, he's got a... I mean, there's a billion games out there he can get good at. Look at Shroud. He kept his namesake, and he went from being a Fortnite guy, and then he switched to Sea of Thieves and still maintained his audience. So, like, you can can survive the storm. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Oh, yeah. 